On this Thursday of the sixth week of Easter, we see in our readings for the liturgy today, in the Acts of the Apostles especially, that we see St. Paul just continuing his apostolic ministry. And despite facing all sorts of persecution, rejections, uh, everything, he keeps going forward. He remains undaunted, steadfastly proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. St. Paul for me is, is a real hero because he just didn't stop, um, but he kept going even when he was facing threats and sufferings and all different types of trials and tribulations. His heart was just burgeoning with the love of Jesus and he wanted everyone to know about that. He wanted everyone to be able to experience the, the, the incredible Christ that he himself had found in Jesus' love, his mercy, his forgiveness. So when you look at the journeys of St. Paul, you, his, you see him going everywhere, everywhere, undaunted, continually proclaiming the gospel of Jesus. In the reading of the gospel according to uh, St. John, um, Jesus offers disciples what seems to be confusing words of encouragement. For instance, he says, you will see me and then you won't see me. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices and, and you will grieve, but your grief will become joy. These kind of contradictory words can be found in, in, in different ways throughout the Gospels where what Jesus says is absolutely contradictory by world standards, worldly standards. So for instance, dying to self is so much gain. Carrying your cross, um, a bit, you know, the seed that falls in the ground that remains a seed unless it bears much fruit. Uh, all sorts of things as far as the world's perspective make absolutely no sense. But what's so beautiful about the teachings of Jesus that when you approach what he says from an understanding or perspective of faith, there is a revelation that occurs in your heart where the things that seem contradictory as far as, again, the world's standards make absolute sense that in dying to self, that one then lives for Christ and in that there is so much gain the pearl of great price that you leave everything to try to find, the treasure, all of those wonderful ways in which Jesus described being a disciple of his was, was not to be seen as a burden or something that would just you know, empty us, but rather to be filled with his life, filled with his spirit. And again, all of that can be understood only from a perspective of faith. So I would challenge you to ask the Lord to deepen your faith so that when we hear things like, you, you know, I will seem to disappear and then appear again and, and you won't understand, the world will be rejoicing, you're gonna be grieving, but we'll find joy. It's in faith then that we can understand the power and the beauty and the gift that he offers us from our faith as we live in this world proclaiming his gospel. God bless you.